Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. This is your first time here. My name is Latia or LB and in today's video, I'm going to be talking all about edge control. There are so many different edge controls out there on the market and I mean they really do vary just by how well that they hold your hair, whether that be your edges or your style if you're using it for styling purposes. But I have four edge controls that I have here at home that I'm going to be showing you today and explaining to you the differences between them and I also rank them from the strongest hold to the softest hold and maybe there's something that I mentioned that you currently use or something that you know you are interested in using. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first one is to by Talia Wajid and it is from the Protector Styles line and it is the Hairline Help 2-on-1 Plus Bamboo and Biotin Edge Growth. Now like I said, it is from the Protective Styles line, so if I'm not mistaken, it is um, recommended to use like if you're doing box braids or twists or some other type of protective style. And it's supposed to help for if you have damage thinning hair or bald spots. And some of the ingredients that it contains are water, um, castor oil, grapeseed oil, panthenol, ginkgo biloba, um, nettle leaf extract, bamboo extract, basil extract, and of course biotin. I mean, that's why it says bamboo and biotin. Um, and this one is actually clear in color which I like that about it because if it starts to melt or anything like that, then, you know, it won't be melting white or black or whatever the color the um, stuff is down your face. Um, so that is really good. And it also smells pretty good. The smell to me is pretty light. It's not heavy at all. And the thickness of it is, you know, it's pretty serious. It's pretty thick. <laughs> as you can see, as I'm scooping it, like it takes a little bit of umph to scoop it out. Um, now I did use this product once before when I did my box braids and when I tell you that the hold is something serious, no exaggeration, the hold is something serious. So pretty much when I was doing my box braids, I will part my hair and then just apply it to the roots and then brush it up. And y'all, when I tell you that it was holding that those hairs into place, I'm not exaggerating. Like this one has a very strong hold, even though it doesn't say anything about, you know, it having a strong hold, it definitely has a strong hold. And if you are doing box braids or some other protective style, I would recommend this. Now it is pretty small and I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I can definitely look that information up and get back to you. It is one ounce, at least this one is one ounce. And I really do feel like it has a pretty good hold. I've never used it for like, if I have a ponytail or anything like to style my edges, I've never used it for that. So I can't speak on the strength in that um, aspect of it, but I do feel like it is really good for um, protective styles. And this is the one that I have out of all of my edge controls that I feel has the strongest hold. Next in the lineup is the Myel Organics Flexible Hold Edge Gel with Certified Organic Honey and Ginger. And it's said to have a hold that's both soft and manageable. Now when they say that the hold is soft and manageable, um, it is that is very true. It is supposed to um, have a flexible hold, but I still feel like the hold is pretty, you know, pretty decent in this product. And I would say this is the second strongest hold um, edge control that I own. Um, the one thing that is a drawback for me about this edge gel is the smell of it. I'm not gonna open it. Well, I will open it in a minute to show you like the thickness and all that stuff. Um, the smell of it is a little too strong for me. It um, and some of the ingredients that it contains are water, aloe leaf juice, honey, lavender flower wax, rice bran wax, um, castor oil, ginger root, hydrolyzed wheat protein, and an essential oil blend. And it doesn't contain any like dyes or anything like that. This is what it looks like. So it's like an off-white kind of color. And this is what it looks like like when I scoop it out. Like it also is pretty thick, like the Talia Wajid. Only thing about this one, because it is marketed to be a flexible hold, for me, it doesn't hold um, as well. Like, I don't know, it just doesn't really hold my edges all that great. <laughs> but yeah, I've actually stopped using it because of the smell. I'm actually probably gonna get rid of it because the scent of this is just way too strong. There are other mild organic products that I like where I can kind of get over the scent, but this one just isn't one of them. So if you're sensitive to smells like I am, I would pass on that. So the next one in my lineup is a Cream of Nature Pure Honey Moisture Infusion Edge Control.
And this one contains ingredients such as water, hydrogenated castor oil, panthenol, honey, shea butter, coconut oil, hydrolyzed wheat protein, and the list goes on. The one thing I do want to point out that is that fragrance is the fifth ingredient in this product, and it also contains a number of um, colors such as yellow number five and red number four, and also caramel. So. This one actually has a pretty soft scent. It smells pretty good. And um, this is what it looks like. And you can see, you know, how the caramel and the yellow and all that, those colors come into play. Um, as far as the way that it works, so it is very sticky and you can tell it has honey in it because it honestly it reminds me like sticky honey. Um, I've only used this product one time and the one time that I used it, it was just okay. Like I feel like I should have um, used, um, put it on my edges, style my edges and then put a scarf on like I usually do. But I didn't do that when I first used it because I did want to just see how it will work on its own. And honestly, like my edges started to curl up like in less than an hour. So I'm gonna try it a different way and see how well it works and then I could probably give you more information on it. But because it is more of a sticky consistency, if you are someone who maybe has like a finer hair texture, then this one may be a little better for you because I don't think that the hold will be all that great for someone who has like thicker or coarser hair. But if you are on the finer hair texture side of the spectrum, then this one may be better for you. But I'll come back and like do a whole review on this one um, once I, you know, really feel like I'm the one that can give a review on it <laughs> and then the last product I have is the curls passion fruit curl control paste and this product is actually supposed to be used for styling your hair It's not really a, an edge control curls does have an edge control but this one um, even on here you can see that it has like this little um, picture on it that says it's for styling and although this is the case I actually really like to use this as the edge control and um, before I get into that though some of the ingredients that it contains contains are water glycerin hydrogenated castor oil shea butter mango seed butter jojoba oil vitamin e oil passion fruit oil evening primrose oil hydrolyzed maize starch and panthenol and this one, fragrance, is the last ingredient, which for me is good since I am a little sensitive to smells. Um, but it doesn't contain any dyes or anything like that. And honestly, the smell of this one doesn't really remind me of like passion fruit or anything like that. It kind of more so reminds me of birthday cake. But you can see that this is a product that I use the most of. Like I really like to use this product, not only for styling, but also for my edges. So whenever I wanna get a super sleek ponytail, I will actually use this product to do that. And I feel like it works very well for that purpose and also for your edges if you, you know if you use it right. Um, now this one is also, I feel like is really good because this one I feel like has the softest hold. I feel like it would also be really good for those who have a finer hair texture or even if your hair is more on the thin side, I feel like it is, um, more gentle on my hair than any of the other hair gels that I've mentioned before so I feel like it is good for that but keep in mind this contains both water and glycerin so if you don't know about glycerin or if you're unfamiliar with you know what it does glycerin essentially pulls the moisture out of the air into your hair so that's why it's really recommended that you use um, like glycerin products or products that contain glycerin and um, when you want to retain moisture as long as there's moisture in the air you know it'll pull the moisture out from the air and help bring it into your hair so if you are someone who you know as soon as you walk out on a humid day and your hair just poofs up like that this product may not be for you my hair does do that sometimes but like i said i really like to use this product anyway um, but yeah, so I thought like this is probably my number one product and you can get this on the curls website or at Target You know if you're interested in trying it actually all of these products I believe probably not the Talia Wajid edge control But I think the other three products are also available at Target and of course on their websites If you have used any of these edge controls then let me know down in the comment section how they worked for you Or if they didn't work for you and if there's one that I did not mention that you like, that you really, really like. Let me know that as well so I can give it a try. I would love to try out a new edge control, you know, get my little edges popping. <laughs> um, if you like this video or if you would like to see a comparison video of me trying out the different edge controls on different sides of my hair and, you know, really comparing them doing a wear test, then let me know that by giving this video a thumbs up. 
up um and yeah you know go ahead and hit that subscribe button and once you do that hit that notification bell that'll pop up after you hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified whenever i post a new video it really does make a huge difference not only for me but also for you <laughs> because you will of course be notified by email whenever i post a new video so with that being said y'all i will see y'all in my next video and do not forget to stay dazzling